Hello, everyone. Welcome to Wednesday. Great day today. S&P 500 was up over 1.7%. And the clean energy indexes that we have were up almost 5% each today, again, leading the way. Let's talk a little bit about clean energy. So we're talking about wind and solar and geothermal and biofuels, hydroelectricity. Uh, and what we're trying to do in these, we buy these baskets that produce the, peop the, the producers, you know, the people that are producing the uh, clean energy, and also all the suppliers, you know, the people making the fuel cells and the turbines and whatnot too. And so I've got two reports that I looked at today, one from BlackRock. Uh, they talked about how 87 countries currently have uh, clean energy targets. And the expectation is that $9 trillion will be spent on uh, this new uh, clean energy you know, uh, concept by 2040. Uh, the use of clean energy has quadrupled from 2009 to 2019. Uh, traditional energy is, of course, shrinking uh, during this time frame. And wind and solar is expected to be 50% of uh, power consumption by 2050. And so State Street's report talks about how the COVID uh, virus itself has caused a shift. And it's really kind of interesting, actually. So when we used to go to work, you know, the companies would pay for the energy that we were using at work. Uh, Might have been through rent or whatever it was. Now we're at home and we're consuming our own energy. Uh, and so home consumers are looking for a more cost-efficient measure uh, to uh to you know, produce their uh, reduce their bill that they that they have for their home consumption. Uh, they also mentioned that uh, the U.S. is on track uh, for the first year ever to produce more clean energy uh, usage than uh, they're using in coal uh, right now, which is kind of interesting. Um, and so politically, they talked about in this report, if there's a democratic sweep, the expectation is that there will be more clean energy spending, including this $2 trillion uh, suggested uh, package that's been talked about uh, in the past. And I really think the, the catalyst to this was California coming through with their concept of having us all buy electric vehicles by 2035. Uh, and that's when things really started to go. So everything I talked about here is part of the theme. So that's a very strong theme. You know, okay, clean energy seems to have a good future. Uh, but it can sit there and do nothing for a long time, which is kind of what happened actually up, up until about May this year. And then it starts to take off. So we want to see that trend on top of theme. And uh, those are both happening right now, and that's why these are doing so well. So, so almost every portfolio, especially on the IRA side, has some form of clean energy in it now, uh, and I'm really happy with that uh, at this point in time. So uh, look forward to seeing what's going to happen tomorrow, see if we get some carry through and continue to move forward here. Uh, look forward to talking to you then. Thank you.